so, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, alien, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? All I've seen is dust and tombs. Not very impressive. Then you have not been blinded by your master's claims. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. And what about me? I'm not human. I'm not descended from Sith blood. The training of aliens as Sith is an aberration. You will never rise to power. It is your masters who concern me. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. You're mingling with a former slave right now. Is that so? This is a sad day. But you may yet be useful. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. Who are you to judge whether Sith are pure or inferior? As an agent of the Emperor and the Dark Council, I will report to them, and if necessary, seek ways to restore hereditary supremacy. I don't want to be involved in this. You will regret this decision. I never forget a face. I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. My master can rot for all I care. Then it's time you had some direction. I am Inquisitor Eurinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner. A spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. And once he's free, what will he tell the Jedi? What did you plant on him? Information that should encourage certain Outer Rim colonies to reduce their defenses. Once that happens, we can arrange the destruction of those colonies and their Jedi defenders. How do you propose to do that? You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. I don't do this sort of thing. No. Let me be clear. Refuse me, and you refuse the will of the Empire. Your apprenticeship to the Sith does not give you limitless freedom. How do I know you won't accuse me of treason? Prove your strength. Prove that you are truly Sith. And all the accusations in the world will mean nothing. Tell me what to do. You will find the Jedi Quarian Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? Your instincts are sharp, Overseer. Barris ordered me to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well. You have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. What makes you so sure you're going to kill me? You're strong, Acolyte, as strong as any I've seen come through the Academy. But you're not Sith yet. Let's get this out of the way. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. 
You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You fought bravely, Overseer. Die with your head held high. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I am Corian Dorjus. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to get you home. If you play your cards right. And I'm to trust you. The word of a Sith. I don't understand. You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? The Inquisitors are messing with your mind. They pumped you full of drugs. I suspected as much. It's so hard to think straight. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. Lord Zash has made it clear that all new acolytes must learn martial skills as well as face their trials. You will find the instructors in the Academy's archive. What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? I did what was called for. You mask your feelings well, as long as you don't suppress them. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory, and through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the cold and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. And now I'm bound by your shackles. You'll find they are a marked improvement with much greater potential range. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Ord in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. You wear the robes of a Sith, 
but you are not one of us, alien. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? Who are you? I am Inquisitor Arzanen, Head of Academy Security, and do not think you can so easily deflect my question. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. Don't be a fool. Defiance of authority is a hallmark of the immature and the subversive. I recommend you reconsider your attitude. Do you always make a habit of accusing strangers of treachery and sedition? You are no stranger to me. I know everyone in this academy, even its former slaves. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. I don't want to be involved in this. You would place your own will above the Emperor's? Heresy! We will be watching you very closely from now on. If you side with the traitors, you will share their fate. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. You make a good point. We're a rare breed, those of us who are red. Red skin is only a mark. It is the strongest indicator of a mighty heritage, but not the only one. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. And what about me? Are you doubting my purity? No, you are young. It is your masters who concern me. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. I would be more than proud to help. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. Blasted mining droids were tougher than I thought. I'm not going to make it, but I hope whoever is watching this will honor me. <laughs> Escaped slaves stole weapons from the academy, I fled into this tomb. They've reprogrammed the mining droids. Without those droids, the slaves won't survive. Tried to take them down myself. Didn't work out. Destroy enough rogue droids, and the slaves will die. Teach them not to cross the Sith.
come here, child? Do you intend to explore the Academy? To know the world that gave birth to the Sith? You should linger here a while. I am Overseer Raggate, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. Everyone in the Academy seems to sense my potential. But you have not yet come into your own. You have power and strength in the Force, but you must be tested beyond the trials your Masters have set for you. I administer the Rite of Blood and Bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. Blood and bone, huh? Sounds right up my alley. It pleases you? Then I too am pleased. In the chambers, past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyrax, my leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls, an altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. I'll make a bloody heap of Shyrak bones to match. It would be a pity if no Shyrax were left for the other acolytes. You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the right is to accept one's death, to steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power, as are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you.
heard the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. I know you brought the Red Stain Skull, and I must say, I am pleased. I didn't even break a sweat. Then you have a darker heart than most. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. I can offer a small gift, but more than that, I can offer a glimpse of your destiny. There's much I can read in the bones. Tell me what you see. I want to know. Very well. Listen carefully. The key to your success is a small and sorry creature. But you can shape it in your image, if you so desire. What key? What creature? That is all I see for certain. I can say no more. Prize what you have accomplished here. You are part of a tradition almost as old as Korriban itself. And you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. What does it matter? The ancient Sith are dead. It matters because the ancient Sith are the source of our power. They are everything we are. The holocron. It glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy. And only one of the Overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What exactly is your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. survive. Tried to take them down myself. Didn't work out. Destroy enough rogue droids and the slaves will die. Teach them not to cross the Sith.
know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. The Conlink. My lightsaber. Everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... Once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the Academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? Me? I'll be fine. I'm more worried about you. That's very kind of you, Sith. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. If everything's settled, I'll be leaving. As you say, Sith. Thank you again. I'm, I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. What about the Jedi? Will he be safe? No Jedi is safe. Sooner or later, the Empire will destroy the Order entirely. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. I don't need your praise. No, I imagine you don't. Take these tokens as payment for your service. And know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Remarkable. Magnificent. You, you slave. Wait, no. Acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Is there something wrong? Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb, the Sith Lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. It was actually quite simple. Tell me, how did you manage it? I had to sacrifice seven to Carter and eat their hearts. Really? How strange. It didn't work when I tried it. That's my little secret. Good. You guard your secrets well. This is a credit to you and a source of power. 
though I personally prefer to be more open. We must have thought too deeply on it, believed too strongly that it could not be done, or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Hord's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. Really? Harkon seems to favor Fawn. Harkon's only purpose is to weed out the weak. Beyond that, his opinion means nothing. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. <laughs>